Alrighty guys, it is Quaman here today and I'm bringing you another Dragon Ball Z segment on What if Vegeta turned Super Saiyan against Frieza? And in today's video, I'm going to give you two different scenarios. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to analyze whether or not Vegeta would have been able to defeat Frieza in a fight if he turned into a Super Saiyan. And the second thing I'll be doing in this video is I'm going to give you kind of like an alternate scenario in Dragon Ball Z if Vegeta did turn into a Super Saiyan against Frieza and how would that change the entire Dragon Ball Z series. So without wasting any more time, I'm going to get straight into the video and for those of you who recently watched my Quaman Answers subscriber questions with Black and Fist video, you guys knew that this was coming because I knew it was a long video. But if you guys stuck through with it, you would have known that I spoiled the fact that I was making this video for you guys. So let's get straight into this video. So, let's first talk about whether or not Vegeta would have been able to defeat Frieza in a fight. Now, let's first consider the fact that when Frieza was fighting against Vegeta in his final form, Vegeta recently received a Zenkai boost from the recently demised Dende which means that Vegeta had a significantly high increase in his power level once he started fighting against Frieza. But if you actually look at the way that Frieza fought against Vegeta, you can clearly see that Frieza was not going 100% against Vegeta. Now this is also reinforced when Frieza is fighting against Goku, where Frieza says that he was using about 1% of his power when he was fighting against Goku. The minute Frieza started using 50% of his power, Goku stood absolutely no chance, even with his KO Ken ability. So you can say that based on the fact that Vegeta was significantly lower than Goku's base form, even Goku using Kaioken against Frieza would clearly put Vegeta at a weaker base power than Goku was when he was fighting against Frieza. Now, Let's also consider the fact that if Vegeta had turned into a Super Saiyan the way Goku turned into a Super Saiyan, what would be the cause? Now, honestly, I don't really think it would be feasible for Vegeta to turn into a Super Saiyan because of the fact that Vegeta doesn't exactly have the proper motivation. Now, for example, you understand, and as you've seen at the beginning of this video, Vegeta turned into a Super Saiyan where he basically just lost everything. He just let it all go, he didn't care anymore. And it takes an internal motivation to become a Super Saiyan. With that said, I don't really see what could have motivated Vegeta to turn Super Saiyan against Frieza because at this point in the series, he really hasn't built any bond with any of the Z Warriors. So in reality, it would be very hard to decipher. But with all of that said and put aside, I personally think that if Vegeta had turned Super Saiyan against Frieza, I do not think that he would be able to defeat him because his base power is significantly lower than Goku's. And when you also consider the fact that when Goku started fighting against Frieza, he was much stronger than Vegeta and was still being tossed around aside. Once Goku turned into a Super Saiyan, he had the edge on Frieza and Frieza had to become a 100% in his own power in order for him to hold his own against Goku. Now, let's just say, blow for blow, Super Saiyan Goku is much stronger, or I can't really say much stronger. Super Saiyan Goku is stronger than Frieza is, at 100%, in the manga and the anime. In the manga, it's more evident, whereas in the anime, it can be argued that Frieza in some cases was actually slightly stronger than Goku was at Super Saiyan, but that was only the anime's interpretation where Gohan returned to avenge his dead father, which never actually happened in the manga. So with all of that said, the fact that Super Saiyan Goku was not that much stronger than Frieza in that form would give a clear indication that if Vegeta had turned into a Super Saiyan, I personally do not think that would have been enough for Vegeta to actually defeat Frieza. Now, if Vegeta did turn Super Saiyan against Frieza, however, the only scenario I would see this working is that Vegeta turns Super Saiyan against Frieza because of all his internal motivation and hatred being built up for Frieza. Vegeta is being killed at a similar battlefield than Goku, but because Vegeta was Super Saiyan, Frieza would have been significantly weaker than he was when he was fighting against Vegeta when he was in his regular base form. 
So with that said, Goku would have had a much easier time fighting against Frieza, even though Frieza would have probably have had to have gone at 100% to kill Vegeta in that instant. So at the end of the day, I do think that if Vegeta had turned Super Saiyan against Frieza, he would have stood a good fight, but he would have definitely have lost, and Goku may have had to have turned Super Saiyan to defeat Frieza, who would have fought a very long and hard battle against Vegeta in the end. So guys, that's basically been my video for today. I do not think that if Vegeta went Super Saiyan against Frieza, it would have been enough. Please share your comments below, and please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, as I always say in every single video, to have a great day, guys.